Hey lovelies, welcome to Blaney Allure. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm teaching you how to make this beautiful gun here. So if you are new to my channel, do well to click on the subscribe button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. I post videos every week. I post useful content every week. And do give this video a thumbs up and share the link with others and also drop your comment in the comment section so this is what i'll be using for this tutorial I'll be using ankara fabric lining and that patches as you can see i folded my fabric into four I folded the fabric into four as i used to if you have been watching my tutorial so i folded my fabric into four and i went ahead to to bring out the to draft the length of the gown so i know you can't see it there but i'm going to drag it so you can see it so this is the length of the gown so you can go ahead and add one inch or one and a half inch um, allowance to it so that after joining it will go back to the normal um, length of the gown so the next thing to do is to mark the neckline and the shoulder first of all i have to arrange the fabric well so that it will be equal at that end where my tape is that place is not there's no slit at all at that place remember i'm cutting the back and the front same time so i've marked the neckline which was two and a half and i went ahead to mark the shoulder line also then i did the shoulder slope to meet the neckline then I went ahead to mark the armhole after marking the armhole automatically that that is our chest line already so that's our chest line so I'll go ahead and take the the um, waist measurement which is 16 then also the hip measurement which is 24 so i'm going to mark the that is the hip line not the circumference of the client hip circumference so i told you that automatically that's the chest line so at the chest line there i'm going to mark the shoulder um, measurement there and then i'm going to draw it to meet the shoulder line from chest line to meet the shoulder line as shown in the video then i went ahead to to divide my boss the boss circumference by four then added the sewing allowance you know this dress is uh, a free gun it's a free gun so there are other ways in which you can cut this gun actually but this method is what i'll be using so I've taken the bust measurement divided by four and the allowance. So going to the waist line, I'm going to take the bust measurement at the waistline. I'm not going to take the original waist circumference. The next thing is to divide the hip circumference by four, adding your sewing allowance and also for ease. So you add the ease allowance also after that you can go ahead and mark 15 at the end of the gun that's at the length of the gun the end of the length of the gun mark 15 after connecting the hip to meet the waistline and then all down to the boss so at the end of the length of the gun you can go ahead and mark 15 it all depends on how big your client is so i went ahead to mark the 15 there and I'll connect it to meet the, the hip line also. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and cut the neckline. So the neckline, remember I folded my fabric into four. So I'm going to cut the neckline to so wash attentively. So at this, the length of the gown, I'm just going to use this as the extension of the lining so i'm going to sew the lining at this place that i folded the tip of this 
and cry at the edges. I'm going to sew it. So at this edge, it will act as extension for the lining. So at this point, the neckline, I'm going to cut it. So the depth is of the back. Remember, it's back and front that I folded it. That the back body is the front body. So I'll mark one and a half inch depth, which is for the back. So I'll go ahead and cut that, cutting through the back and the front and fabric. So I'll go ahead and cut that. Then also, I'll mark the front, which is three inches. So after marking it, I'm going to cut it off. That is the 1.5 inches. Remember, I've not cut it off. After cutting it off, I'm going to push one of the fabric inside as shown in the video. So I've pushed it inside. So I'll zoom in and taking uh, this first one here as the front part of the dress. So I'll cut the three inches depth of the neckline and you can see how it looks there. So the next thing to do is to shape the arm or So after shaping the arm all, basically we are through with the drafting of this dress. So I'll go ahead and cut it off. You can see how the neckline look like. Yeah. I'll quickly do that now. So this is how it looks after cutting it. So I'll go ahead and cut lining for it. I have cut lining for it, both the back and the front. I've cut lining for it. And I told you that that place that I folded at the length of the gown, we add as an extension to the uh, lining. You can see that my line is short. So I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. You can see how I folded it to meet it. So that's how I'm going to line it. I'll just go ahead and sew those two edges together, then flip it over. So that's what I'm going to do in our next video. So you can see how I place it. You just go ahead and sew it right side, on the right side of the fabric. Then you raise it up. You see that it will meet the neckline. Although the lining is short, it will meet the neckline when you do that so see you in our next tutorial for the continuation of this video bye